Welcome everyone to this YouTube channel. The times change with each passing day and include us all in them with all that we have been and are but especially with what we could become and be. However, we are all so permeated by what we see and live every day, so that it seems that we cannot, and many times it seems that we do not even want to be encompassed by the new heaven and the new earth, which are towards making and building and seeing from the unseen world more and more and closer to us. This YouTube channel The Heart of Jesus is waiting for you presents and gives you heavenly love letters sent down to us then and now from our Lord Jesus Christ and from the Blessed Virgin. Mary. So that we may prepare ourselves properly for the heavenly wedding of the Lamb God, today we present the word of God spoken by our Lord Jesus Christ in the Holy Monastery of the New Jerusalem of Romania, God's word to the leaders of the nations of February 25, 2024, Sons, Sons, you are great. You are the leaders, but you are not greater than God. I am coming word from heaven to earth and I am speaking to you now too. My Romania is the queen with treasure in her, with God in her. I give you my word from the middle of it. I love you from the middle of it. I cry out to you from the midst of it. Her love is like mine. It is a baptized country, it has been a Christian country for two thousand years. I, the Lord, am of the same age as her, I am two thousand years old like her, and she is a Christian country, and she has preserved for me the portrait of my kingdom in the middle of the earth, there were many pagan emperors in the past and they killed these Christians a lot and they filled my heaven with holy confessors and earned themselves heavy guilt by their blindness so great, so great. I sent over the earth to the people of my word, word that all the pagan kings of the times under heaven should be put to services of forgiveness of their sins against God and his Christians, and I said that funeral services and memorial services should be read and prayers of release, for they have filled my heaven with saints, who pray before me for those who cut them off for the testimony of Jesus, as it is written, Oh, it is eternal life. I, the Lord, said this when I came to earth two thousand years ago, not man said. It is a life even further from the temporality of carnal life, which is wasted in vain on earth, because man lives carnally and that is all, and does not want spiritual life on earth. The scripture of the resurrection of the dead is written and this fulfillment is true and they will all stand before me with all that they have done on earth, and it is not as the enemies say this truth. Man will rise with the body he bore, as I, the Lord, have risen, and Lazarus, as well as those who rose from sleep on the day I rose. And they also rose from their graves, the righteous rose they also confessed me in Jerusalem, and I tell you this not because you do not know, but only to remind you of the truth of things and not the truth anyway, here's what I tell you, I stood above with all the heavenly and angelic powers on the day when the leader of the Russian people opened the door for him to enter to sit in council with him before the nations of the earth. And he testified on that day the faith of his people and the Church of this Christian people for a thousand years, Christian according to the tradition of the fathers of the beginning of the Church of Christ. He brought forth the wisdom that rests upon him. And said that war had always been on earth between the heathen and the Christian peoples only to overcome Christ and the true faith and the true Christians. Ye have looked from the earth, and I, the Lord, I, and the whole heaven have looked from above with eyes and ears without number, and it is written in heaven word for word and it can be read and understood that no war is made but against his church Christ, against the Christian countries, as has happened in all times and on the Romanian land and the church of this orthodox nation since its birth as a people, together with my birth among people on earth. Now I have chosen this land always struck, always crucified by pagans, oh! And I have now raised my fortress of stone and I go forth from it word over the earth and I have hands that pick up the voice of my word to put it in the way of those who, when I come, I open my word over the earth, and I have seventy years of history of my word on the hearth of the Romanian nation, and I kept this history until the day of freedom and I brought it above, and since then I walk with it word over the earth. I watch moment by moment with all those in heaven at full the evil born. Everywhere from what was said on the day when I stood over the house that houses the leader of the Russian people and those around him defenders of their Christian nation. Behold, the whole meeting and speech was written in heaven. Because the true, Christian, ancestral faith was confessed, and this testimony had to be taken in heaven, oh, repentance is needed, humility is needed, truth is needed, falsehood must be destroyed, 
for its father is the devil, as the father of truth is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I have come to you to speak peace in you and among you. Peace to you I say now, only if you will receive. Work peace. Work no more weapons, no threat, no lie, no trickery, no, sons, no, for love waits and wants to take in its spirit your mind and heart and feeling and faith that I have sat in counsel with you this day on earth. Amen, I leave the bottom and leave my name on my letter with you. My name is Jesus Christ, the Word of God, who comes to earth and rules the peoples from heaven and shepherds with mercy, with heavenly love those who are looking for food from above, because man cannot do what only God has the right to do, and let man humble himself towards his creation from God and let him be God's son, child of God let man be on earth. Amen, Amen, Amen. This is the end of today's program. May God bless you and keep you close to his most sacred heart. Amen.